Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my let's play of Icewind Dale 2. Uh, I've got a couple things to settle before we head north to the Palisade, and the number one being this issue right here, which is going to involve some combat. So I've got to be real careful on this one. Come on, come on. Get in there. Alright. So he immediately stops me. Uh, I'll go ahead and... Um, ask him about the scroll. So is that a spell scroll? A spell scroll? May I see it? No, we need to hold on to it. It might prove important to Targos. And then he'll go ahead and threaten me. And we'll enter combat. Uh, and then I'll have to actually... Orders. Go into slow mode to deal with this. I'm on it. I'm going to rush him with my first you character. My second character is also going to rush forward. Yes. Uh, Cleric is going to cast Bless. Yes. Uh, wizard. I'm going to go ahead and summon a monster. Mm -hmm. Rogue. Yeah. Is going to come around back. Or the rogue's going to come up to here, yes. And the bard's going to start bard song, which is going to give me uh, combat bonuses. Now shall we? All right. So here's what we got. I'm listening. We got a dog. I'll handle it. A goblin. The dog's mine. So we got a goblin. A named goblin, a goblin sapper, and a goblin sapper. So what we'll you do is we'll get attention. all of our people onto this goblin first. What is it you require? Uh, mage is going to cast something. Mage is going to cast a direct damage uh, chill I touch. See. Oh wait, it's going to cast chill, chill touch, which should give him a weapon. Make peace with your god. All right, bless kicks in. Yes. All right. Still on that one goblin. I'm ready. Charity's bless has kicked in, so I'll now she right can do something. Uh, she's gonna come around to this goblin sapper. So did everybody just fall asleep? Like almost everybody just fell asleep except for the dog. I am by your side. No, I got two of them. Okay, I've got him down to hurt. Yes. Got three of them up now. This rogue yeah. can't be running Good. like that. All right. So what did he just do? Oh no! Charity died. Um You just tell me what you need. That's unfortunate. And I may not win this again. Oh, he's down to almost dead. He keeps casting crowd control on on people. The Xylus is down. But the mage is almost dead. And another one. God damn it, I'm, I'm losing. I'm Tell you what, sure that target's down. But I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to reload because half of my party is dead. So give me a second. You know, just leaving the doors in this game is a chore sometimes. Understood. I'm thinking instead of going directly in there, let's let's check out the inn first, because I may be able to squeeze some experience out and maybe level up before I face that guy. Because I don't need much. I just need enough to uh, to handle his his initial attacks. Just go into the inn. All right, make yourselves at home. Right. So talk to the innkeep. I know who might you be to come sleep through the doors of the widow. 
uh, one of the fresh crop of cell swords. We'll go with uh, yeah. Do you uh, do you know of a priest named Miracle named Colin? He said he had a, uh, a room here. Oh, I I know that twisted hounds get. I do. Had a room here for two nights. He did. Then said he couldn't bear the weeping of the spirit. So he up and left without so much as shelling out a single coin for the room. Weeping? What weeping? Never mind about that. It's got the strings of a sad bard song, and there is no cause to be weighing down your shoulders with such talk. I'd like to hear it. A woman passed away in the room long ago. She was waiting for her man to return from Dualden, but he was lost in a storm. The poor woman hurled herself from the window upstairs to the cliffs below. You can still hear her weeping at night, and I've had the, the room warded out of respect for her grief. A sad tale to be sure, all right? There might be something I can do to help her. I could look into the matter if you want. Truly? Then here's the key to the room. It should get you past the ward on the door. If you can help set that poor woman's spirit at ease, I'd be grateful, so I would. Her weeping can be heard mostly at night, so that would probably be the best time to catch sight of her. Alright. Uh, very well. I'll uh, rest then to gather my strength. Well, let me ask him if he'll watch me for the night. What else can you tell me about her? Alright. You can st uh, uh, why didn't you mention that? At, why didn't you mention what at the start? So Colum couldn't bear the weeping and left without paying? I, Colum, cursed be his name. He just up and left without leaving a single coin for an each stay. So he didn't pay you anything, are you sure? I, well, nothing that matters he didn't. He put some glyph on the door of the room upstairs to keep the spirit inside, but that doesn't stop her weeping now, does it? What was the glyph supposed to do? Hells if I know. Torture me ears, most like. Alright, so that's what old Colum did. Did he put a glyph on the door? I will know. He gave me some damnable magic potion, some concoction or other, but he couldn't even tell me what it was, only that it, he was, it was more than enough for the room. Truth be told, I'm too scared to open it, let alone drink it. Uh, why did you take the... Uh, can I see this potion? Uh, not sure. Seems to. It does seem to be magical, though. If you want, we could try to identify it for you. All right, if you can figure it out, perhaps one of the priests and or mages in town will know what the damn thing is. Or better yet, that right wife of Lord Ulrich. All right, I'll get the, the bottle identified, though. Um, yeah, I'll seek her out. So let's get that bottle identified. Worse. I'll handle it. Mm. Got it. Go off to identify it. So again, I'm probably going to have to shell out some money for this, but before I do, I'm going to try to get it identified among my own people. There we go, ghost touched bottle. I'll ask her what I can I'm do listening. with it, at least. You have me. I see. Alright, wondering if you could tell me what this ghost touched bottle might be used for. How curious, the potion's only water. As you've noted, the enchantment stems from the bottle itself. It, may, it has been touched by the spirits. The bottle can hold the essence of the ethereal plane. What would such a bottle be used for? In truth, I have no idea. It would depend on the enchanter. The bottle would have much greater worth if it held some of the ethereal plane within it. Why is that? Enchantments carried by the ethereal realm can be quite potent. A ghost-touched item might be made from even the smallest trace of a spirit's essence. All right. Why, yes, it could, but ah, I see where your question leads. Are you thinking about the haunting of the weeping widow? I had thought about it. Can you tell me more about the spirit that haunts the inn? Little except what uh, Kyle Hyred, the innkeeper, has told me. The ghost of a woman is said to haunt the upper story of the inn at night, waiting for her husband's return. I believe he is said to have sailed out onto the lake many years ago and never returned. I think it might be uh, possible to obtain a tear from her? Uh, find some means of setting her heart at rest first, otherwise the dealing with that may prove difficult. Thank you for your time. You have my attention. Done. Continuing onward, I still haven't seen this ghost. I'm on it. Hopefully I can find some way to put her at ease. Alright, in here again. Can we rest until nightfall? Alright, you had any luck setting that poor woman's heart to rest? 
Uh, not yet, but we identified that potion. Uh, he, it's a ghost-touched bottle. But what of the potion side? Only bo the bottle was enchanted. It's supposed to be able to hold pieces of the ethereal plane inside. All right, that damn priest. I knew it was worthless. Hmm, well, thank you for your efforts, but I'd rather such a thing be kept from far from me. All right, I'm glad I could help clear up the nature of the, nature of the bottle then. Farewell. Still not getting any level up. Yes. And yes, see if I can't certainly. stay here for a night. I'll rest in the peasant's room. Nope, wait a minute. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and rent. And I will rest. It says I rested for 16 hours, which is not great because it's still. Wait, is it nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. Yes, let's head upstairs. Understood. He says, I think it's nighttime. Looks like it's nighttime. Got it. All right. I am here. Send the paladin. Or wait, no, not the paladin, the bard. Yes, fine by me. All right, what you got? Who is this? My weeping eyes see not my Donovan, but a woman of flesh and bone. I am not this Donovan you speak of, spirit. Who are you that haunts this place? In life, Viera was the name I bore. Such empty names mean nothing now. It carried worth only upon my husband's lips. So why are you weeping? Uh, sorrow consumes me. My tears are for my lost husband, who promised me to return, yet I wait still. Hmm. Maybe I need to talk to, uh... Understood. Let me talk to the old woman. I'll go back down to the docks. I will see you when I go back to the docks. Maybe talk to the captain's mother. Or maybe I should check in at the bar. They might know something. How can I have no small task? Talk to this guy first. I didn't have anything Here, new to add. Understood. So. Into the tavern, the salty whatever, the salty dog. Ready and willing. I see. All right. Uh, see, I was hoping you might ask some questions. How did you come by this tavern? Well, I was hired blade some 12 years past. I won it in a knife fight. I plan on selling the place and using the coin for ale and whores and Ruskin and Luskin. But I fell hard for the former owner's widow and decided to plant myself here. The good woman passed last winter, though, so the tavern is in this is now. Um, what do you have to drink? Nothing I need. Nothing from them. Yeah, let's just talk to uh, Understood. talk to the captain's mother. Okay, she doesn't have anything new to add. I'm listening. Got oh it. man, let's go back upstairs then. I'll talk to the uh, cleric of miracle. And it's daytime. Okay. Cleric of Miracle. Alright, um... Can you tell me... What... Uh, can you tell us anything about the spirit that haunts the Weeping Widow Inn? Already talked to him about this. Um, other questions? Can you tell me about the potion you gave to Cal Herod? It's not for me to say. I will only say that it was more than enough to pay for my room at the inn. Indeed, the ghost touch ba bottle is quite valuable. Yes, yes, it... Oh, uh, what? Was it you said of the bottle? <laughs> ghost touch. I mean, the water inside the bottle is useless, but the real enchantment is the bottle itself. He didn't know what he had at first. The bottle is ghost touched, but... Hmm. Yeah, it surprised me as well. Fromona, <laughs> you had tied to do the innkeeper by paying him with a flask of water. But a ghost touch bottle is something else entirely. I imagine it's worth quite a bit of gold, isn't it? Well, quite useful such a thing. It seems I was over generous in my gift. The keeper may keep it with my good graces. What could such a bottle be used for? Uh, take it to the spear and the weeping widow if she remains. 
Put one of our tiers inside, you may use it in enchantments. Okay, I had some other questions. I think I've had enough. You have my attention. Ah. Understood. No luck on this. Man, just exiting doors is a pain. Okay. Understood. Well, I haven't been to the uh, the trading coster. Let me talk to them. Huh. <sighs> just in through the door. Alright, what do we got here? I am by very well. We got Loman. It if in you're looking to buy anything, talk to Deer. She's the red headed one. Um, not the other one. Okay. Talk to Deirdre. Alright, what? Did Ulbrook send you to seize more more lumber or take a few more weapons, perhaps? Take it all. I'm a dragon's flight past carrying what happens to this damn town. What is, I, I, what is this place? It's the remains of the Galloway trading post of Targos, although I fear what little will be left after the soldiers of Targos are through plundering it for the war effort. Galloway, I've heard that name around Luskin and Bremen. Good, that means we're doing our job. <laughs> the trading coster has grown over the years. My grandfather, Ilmus, used to run caravans throughout the ten towns. His age and his love of Cremere and Brandy have finally caught up with him, so he's left the traveling and the day-to-day -day work for the rest of the family. I'd like to purchase some supplies. Truly? Then please, look around. Okay, what do they have here? They have some nice magic items. The left hand of darkness is a missile? Is this supposed to be a sling? Okay, keg splitter. It's like an axe plus one plus one versus constructs. Executioner's wife. Great axe plus one. Black chimes. It's a flail. It's a plus one weapon. Twenty-five percent chance the target is deafened. Returning throwing hammer. That could be cool. Oh crap, I can only buy so much. Dredging Claw. It's a halberd plus one. Nine paces. This is a long reach spear. Hearts of Charity. Like, cle clearly etched on this name. Blade is Charity. You're sure you've never seen it before. Yet it's, it feels strangely familiar when you hold it in your hand. It's a plus one, or it's a plus one to hit, not no damage bonus, but a minor resistance. That's interesting. Okay, Wandering Sky, that's a, a two-handed sword. That is indeed a, a two-handed sword, a great sword. Can cast Doom once. Once per day or just once? Looks like it's just once. Chain mail. Splint mail. <sighs> well, I could buy armor. It's got a gem bag. Flank of the Virgin. It's a plus two, or is a plus, uh, plus one dex shield. Alright. Well, there's some interesting things in there, but nothing I can really use. Understood. Let's head on out. Agreed. Oh. Let's see if I can't ask about the... the uh, let, let, let's talk to the owner of the inn now that I've talked to the ghost. Okay, I'm in the inn. Let's, let's talk to the guy. Alright, she seems to be waiting for her husband. Do you know who that might be? A fisherman named Donovan, I think. A little thick in the skull, but a solid enough fellow. Big-hearted. Spent most of his nights down at the Salty Dog. I did have to go to the Salty Dog. He lost himself in a storm over at Mayor Dualden. So his buddy never turned up? Well, not, no, not that I heard. My most reckoning, he drowned. He probably had one too many tankards and that rough weather, rough weather on the lake during the storms. 
What about this ship? Well, there's wrecks scattered across the bed of Mary to Alden. Piece them wash up now and then. If you knew the name of the ship, may I have a piece turned up somewhere? Who would know the name of the ship? Gohar, the barkeep down the salty dog, which I need to talk to, which I was just at. Alright, I'll go see Gohar then. What? So Alright. Just go back down to the docks. Alright, I'm down to the salty dog tavern. Let's tuck on in and see what's what's what. I am here. Go ahead and Done. talk to Gohar. Alright. Do you know anything about a fisherman named Donovan? Oh, old Cal, Cal High said that, did he? Aye, I remember Donovan. He died years ago, lost on Mayor Dalton. So you'll have to no luck find him now. How do you know he's dead? Found his skiff washed up on his shores, how I know. Found it a few winters ago, poor Donovan. Good fellow. But he couldn't hold his ale, and he wasn't too sharp, neither. Do you have a piece of his boat? Could I have it? I, well, I, I've, I've it laying around here, about as pickled as Donovan himself. If you want it, it's yours. It's the least I can do after you drove the the Zerati goblin bastards off the docks. Appreciate it. And there we go. Here you are. The Vieira's gaze, right there on the prow. Name of his poor wife, I think. Heard she passed away from grief, so the tale goes. Yeah, no, she passed away from a sudden stop after a long fall. I'm on it. I guess grief could have been a factor. I'm on it. All right, back up to this place. To the inn, so to speak. And it's going to be like day two. I'm glad the goblin siege had the courtesy to hold off while I was running around doing this. And I've almost got, it. uh... Almost got enough to level, I think. All right. Let me take a look. Yeah, I just need 20 more experience. Oh, I need to rest until nightfall. Arg. Got it. How could certainly? I see about resting. Uh, let me rest. Just for eight hours. Here. And it's hour I'll fifteen, which is that, is that nightfall? Understood. That is not quite nightfall. So I've got to rest again. Is this worth it? Done. It better be worth it. Ready, certainly. Why can't you just wake me up at night? Orders. All right, agreed. now I should be. It should be at night. I'm on it. Here we go. Tell me done. Now we'll talk to her. I found a piece of Donovan's ship, Vera. I hope that knowledge of his fate may bring you peace. So death has returned to death. A husband's promise at last fulfilled. His fate shall anchor mine no more. Uh, rest now, Vieira. Let yourself move on to death's realm, as was intended. First, a debt must be settled. As you return my husband to me, I will return a boon in kind. Give me one of your tears. Uh, from my lips, a warning to you. The sign of the chimera comes... The sign of the chimera comes to Targos. It will devour you if you do not take action. What do you mean? If you fail in your quest, many shall perish. The dead of Targo shall outnumber the living, and the city shall become but a memory. For my sake, for the sake of my husband, protect Targus from what comes, or more widow's tears shall be shed. I will take your words to halt. Heart, long have I waited for my husband's return. I will help you by keeping watch here until such time as I can pay my debt in full. Perhaps you can help me now. Could you shed one last tear for me? I have an enchanted vial to hold it. If my sorrow will aid you, so be it. It is a small matter to allow my grief to coax one last tear from me. Thank you. All right. It is done. For now, farewell. For now, we shall meet again in a kingdom far from this one. I shall not forget what you have done for me. And that is the level up. You have my attention. Boom. Okay, she said. Got it. Let me go downstairs. Very well. And tell this guy what happened. Yo, your ghost problem's fixed. Uh, I put that woman's spirit at ease. You shouldn't hear any more weeping from now on. Nay, truly a bringer of miracles, Yar, and blessed am I for your efforts. Thank you. Thank you greatly. 
Please me to help the spirit. No thanks are necessary. I shall speak well of you, I shall. Everyone in Targos will soon know how much you've helped me. Thank you again, friend. To help me with all I end these difficult times is worth its weight in gold. All right. Yes. And what I will do then, aside from racking up more experience, is go speak to the, the uh, right. Ulbrich's wife. Oops. I'm already 200 into this level. And then we'll level up. And then we'll probably go... Uh, well, I don't know what we'll do. Probably rest again and then face that, that wizard. Alright. I'm on it. Let's see about opening this up. I am by done. Alright. I've come to um I've obtained a tear from the ghost that haunts the weeping widow, and we're wondering if you could make use of it. So you were able to set the spirit to rest then, that is welcome news indeed. It would be my pleasure to help you, Mayo, see the tear you've brought. It depends on what you wish to do with it. If you want to part with it, I can offer you 500 gold for it. Or if you wish, I may use it to enchant a small blade for you. A dagger, perhaps. The dagger would carry some magic of the ethereal plane and some of the essence of the spirit as well. Um, I'd be willing to sell the tear, but selling selling the poor is a woman's soul to... Uh, okay. I'll take the dagger. A magic weapon could prove useful. All right. Then we get a magic weapon. Here you are, thank you, and thank you for freeing that poor woman's spirit. She must have been suffering greatly. Great or greatly, yes. What? So I got a magic dagger that I can pop on someone. Called Sorrow's Tear, which is plus one, plus two versus Spectral Undead. Five percent chance for an additional one point of magic damage when the target is hit. And that will be going to my halfling. All right, let's level up. I will start with Clow. We'll give him a fighter level. We'll give him two points in Intimidate. And Intimidate. We'll give him one feet in... And I want to say... We'll continue to boost his... Uh, his Greatsword. No, it can't. Can't quite yet. Does he have power attack? Well, he does now. I don't know how to use it. But we'll see about it. It's really useful, though. Uh, next is my paladin. We'll level her up in paladin. We'll give her diplomacy and concentration. And we will give her... Um, that's it. Man up to my cleric. Level her up in cleric. Give her concentration and concentration, even though spellcraft needs to be up, so it doesn't need to be up right now. Level up my wizard. You will level up alchemy and concentration. And on knowledge, arcana, and spellcraft. And he'll save one for next level. <sighs> Xylos will level rogue. Of course. Bump all the rogue stuff up. And finally, the bard will level up bard. Get bluff up. Spellcraft and use magic device. Oh, and what kind of spells do I want? Uh, color spray, spray would be useful for crowd control. Chromatic orb would be useful in general. Charm person less so. I'm th sleep should be more useful than it is, but it's not really. Only two d four hit dice. I'll get Cure Light Wounds and Color Spray. Ready. And I'll then I will see yes. about uh, busting out my spell book. 
wherever it is. And memorizing, I should have one more spell slot available. We'll memorize uh, Chill Touch again. My cleric will memorize another Cure Light Wounds. And that's that. Here. All right. Well, let me rest, and then we'll go engage that uh, that mage. Okay, time to try this again. In here, immediately get jumped. All right. So what I'm going to do is get my melees Agreed. to move up here. You have need of me, certainly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yes. Get my cleric to cast bless, while my wizard yes. summons a creature, and then yes. my bard is going to step forth right and immediately cast the uh, color spray at the wizard, and hopefully catch his summons, which I did. All right. You have my attention. So come over here and immediately start on this goblin to clear clear the air a little bit. Ready. Get bard song going. Right up. All right, bless is up. Yes. Uh, one goblin down. Let's get the goblin sapper next. What is While it my want? wizard is going to cast. Um. Uh, chill touch, and then join, wish. join, join the melee. What? Ready. So now we're dealing with the mage himself. I am by your side. Very well. I need well. to get my my paladin up here. So, fan of the rags. At Still your service. up. Help. All right, some people just got hit. My beetle died. Yes. We'll go ahead and lay on hands the paladin. Yeah. And the rogue is gonna back the hell up. Rogue's gonna come back here. I'm I'll heal him with my bard. Everybody else is after Farron no, of the Rags, who has decided to run. Orders to the butcher's work. So somebody just fell asleep again. He's still uninjured because nobody's able to hit the dude. Although when I do hit him, it hurts. So he just cast Ray of Enfeeblement and missed. Come on. He's badly wounded. Oh no, not burning hands. Immediately. Run. No, this wizard needs help. I am ready. Make peace with your gods. No, my wizard's about to die. You have my attention. I'm going to have him cast Mage Armor hmm. on himself. Alright. Named Goblin is down. I should have used that Wolf Charm. How can I help? But that's okay. We've got a Goblin Sapper down and that's a win. Wow, that was rough. That was really rough. I await instruction, huh? Yeah. Let's I'm go ahead and move done. all of our people over there. Ready. Sure. Cleric's still asleep. Mm. Sure. Let's get gold. We got some magic robes and a scroll. I do not need the unenchanted staff. Quarter staffs can just lay on the ground. Thank you very much. Let's get the money. And more money. And more money. And 
Let's make sure nothing is trapped over here. And I think there's something I need to search out over there, too. I'm not getting anything showing to be trapped. This needs to be unlocked, though. I'm going to quick save just in case. Got riches. And we got this book that is the Ten Towns, East Haven. I uh, got one person still asleep. Let's just search. Sure. So I heard something about something being behind the fireplace. Probably not in here. Anyway, that is a win. Still need a little bit to level. So what did we get? Farin's Robe of Rags, which is deflection plus two. So he will be upgrading my wizard. Resistance three, uh, cold resistance. Then we've got Magic Missile, which my wizard will write. And then that is pretty much it. I'll be taking those. Yep. That is that. So as soon as my cleric wakes up, which I think they just did. Done. No, they're still sleeping. Uh, as soon as my cleric wakes up, I'll be on my way to turn in this particular issue. All right, McCleric's awake. Yes, understood. And we're on our way. Agreed. We should let Ulrich know immediately. Tell me your need, certainly. All right. Yes, what do you want? Uh, Very well, but time is short. Okay, that didn't help yes. any. Can I help? What is it you I'm require? I'm ready. What's up? Sure. Trying to get my bard in here, talk to his wife instead, then I guess. When Fane caught sight of the brimstone scroll in her possession, he attacked us. Seems he was behind the attack on the docks. Fane attacked you? So he was behind this betrayal then. Targos might have fallen when the goblins attacked the docks. Had you not been there to stop them, you have my thanks and the thanks of my husband. I think Fane thought us to be easy victims. Uh, please take these as payment for your services. I f feel now more than ever that as long as you stand in Targos' defense, the goblins shall be turned back and the town saved. Okay, so what did she give me? Oh, nice. Things I can sell. And some money. What? I'm on Alright, now that's done. Um, I'm gonna rest again and then go up to the, uh... I'm on it. And then go, go up to the palisade. Because my wizard's about dead. Okay, time to head up towards the palisade. Quick save. So I have to backtrack. Uh, there might be some other things in this town I might, I might need to encounter before then. Uh, specifically, got a little barrel over there. Look in there, nothing. Is there anything up here? There's an airship. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see you standing there. Huh. What can I do for you? Oswald oh, Fiddlebender from the I first was one. Supposed to do for you? Um, I think this is actually the first time we've met, Perhaps. isn't it? Yes, yes, I think I would have remembered you. Uh, I'm sure of it, I think. I'm Clow, who are you? Introductions, of course introductions. Sometimes the ideas will start rattling around in my head, and I'll wake up to find I'm somewhere else. Or talking to someone else. Okay, I'll take your word for that. My name's Fiddlebender. Oswald, right. that is. Well, Fiddlebender's my last huh. name. My first name is Oswald, so it's Oswald Fiddlebender. Thank you for A clarifying you. that for me. All right, pleasure to meet you, Oswald. Is ship? that your ship? Oh, you mean this one here? Yes, the one with the balloon on top. You mean my airship. Yes, okay. yes, indeed, it's mine. Beautiful, isn't it? 
didn't know which ship you meant at first. Only one ship there, there Oswald. Many common ships about, but this one is quite Lots of ships at the dock. Most ships travel upon the water. This one, however, travels upon the air. All right, travels upon the air. Indeed it does. It was wondrous. Well, before it crashed in Tagos, I flew Isn't this guy, like, always Kaldahar, crashing his airship in places? So what were you doing in Kaldahar? Why, I live in Kaldahar with my niece, Marily. Marily, I mean, the narrator. I set up shop there after I landed in town. Well, crashed. Crash. Me, but really. that's neither here nor there. There's an awful lot of mountains around Kaldahar. Yeah, so I hear. Very confusing to fly through or around. It's hard to steer the ship when I'm in the lab, I've discovered. Lab? Oh, didn't I tell you? But I must have. Are you some kind of idiot? Why? Now, here I we go. Potions. I mean, well, potions. among other things, I'm an inventor. I make things and potions. Did I say that? All right. Do you test these potions on yourself after making them? Not often. Not Very often. Dangerous, some of them. Love Others that. Are volatile. Some are both. All right. Uh, did some of those dangerous potions cause damage to the hull? Oh, yes, the damage there. Well, the landing here in Targos was somewhat bumpy, and it took some time to put out the flames and mend the wooden frame. Okay. And, of course, there were all those potions that shattered in the crash and caused those nasty fires on the northern <laughs> side of town. So he, like, is responsible for some of these charred Fortunately, buildings. Fortunately, all the residents had already fled at my approach, so it was only a matter of time before the flames died down and we could approach the ship. Quite a mess, but we got it all sorted out. So how did you fix it? Oh, well, now that's another story. Had to fashion a spell of so my own So he's a spellcaster as well. Oswald's Mending, I call it. Quite catchy, I think. Getting the components for it can be quite exhausting, let alone remembering them. Wrote it all down in a book in the lab. Like what components? Hmm, let's see. There's spider silk. Fresh spider silk, mind you. Not old. Belladonna paste. Crushed diamonds. diamonds. Some thrim Jesus. extract. A little bit of iron ore, some wood. That's quite course, a list. Unless you crashed on a house or near a big tree, in which case that isn't a problem. And, um, well, can't remember the last bits, but right. I have it all written down. It's a good thing you don't have to repair it again. Very true, very true. Can't see this airship crashing any time in the near future. Sturdy as a rock. Rocks can't fly, Oswald. Well, of course they can. Just get a giant to throw them, and even ah. the largest stone will fly like a bird. A very heavy bird, mind you, and no wings, but the principle is the same. Yes, yeah, sure. All right, um, so I'll, I'm going to leave him for now. Here. Uh, I can buy potions and potion Understood. bags from him. So I've got somebody that can sell gem bags, somebody that can sell scroll cases, and I think he'll sell potion bags. I'm going to have to come back for those at some point. But not right now. Well, let's see what's over in this barrel before I enter that tent. And then there's another barrel. Arrows. I'm basically just looting the town. Don't mind me. Oh wait, what's in here? Is that what they meant by behind the fireplace? What the hell is in there? Here, I'm going to send somebody back there. Yeah. Get me a potion. A uh, cat's grace potion. Not bad. Yeah, 3rd uh, edition had uh, quite a few different potions that were useful. Basically any spell 3rd level or less could be a potion. Got it. So what do we got in here? Uh, Orc stone well. float foe. Ah, Max Seal of Silvery Moon. Sweet mornings and warm evenings to you, friend. Uh, are you the reinforcements? Yes, we recently arrived from Luskin. Ah, uh, good. It saddens me that Ubek and I are not... Are, are, it gladdens me that Urbek and I are not the only ones to come to the aid of the Ten Towns. Uh, please forgive my dwarven friend. He came all the way from Citadel Adbar to aid Targos, a good fellow, but he's 
out of his head right now to one too many blows from a bugbear morning star. As for me, a warg on the southern plains fell under my sword, but over my leg. All right. What you got up here? Another warrior for the healing of Ragni. The only people welcome in this house are those who give or take blood. Are you one the brave or one just another talker? I swear I will aid this town in this fight against evil. Feel free to do good as long as you will do it. What can I do for you? How goes the battle? For the moment, all is well. Okay. They were testing the defenses before their bugbear reinforcements arrive. Denim, I don't need a sermon on how goblins fight. I've slain more of those black-blooded bastards than anyone in this town. It doesn't matter how many bugbears they have with them. Hack enough of them in twain with an axe, and the rest head for the mountains. Would it be accurate to say that your battle plan can be summarized as get em? Keep talking, Denim. We shall see what happens. Okay, that guy's a, a cleric of Tempest, and this guy is a cleric of the Red Knight, which is... A minor god of strategy. And, um... Here we go. Was is a young goddess, sponsored by the Church of Tempest, once a mortal, the Red Knight, is the patron of strategy and tactics. Some might say that she is the result of the natural evolution of warfare. Others might disagree. If you have any questions about how, am I, how to be more effective in battle, please ask me. Okay. And I can talk to them both later. But you know what? I think I'm going to leave it at that. I will finish talking to the people in here in the next episode. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with my Let's Play of Icewind Dale 2. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content, both tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye.